Good afternoon, everyone. This is Terra Quator. Take a look around you very carefully, of course. I have to walk carefully and methodically. The prairie dogs are out. I'm in a park. Kids are back there. They're at the splash park right now. I am on a quest where this recording will get cut short here in a minute because I am on a mission to get a 360 recording of prairie dogs. Ooh. Look at these gorgeous flowers. Hang on. Take a look at these. I'm gonna extend you out. Look at those gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. Gorgeous little thing, huh? But my mission, so yeah, prairie dogs are they're back here. They are alerting each other that there is possible danger. So if you hear a chirping through this wind. That would be the prairie dogs alerting each other that there's danger afoot. There is a predator. They do not know that I am not the predator. But I am currently searching for a good spot to plop this camera down and just hide. There, this park has a ton of prairie dogs. Which would be great. If I can get a Prairie Dog Slice of Life series going, yes. There was a good uh, grouping of them down there. Kind of down in this ditch. I might take a look. See, look uh, past me over here. Got that one. It's on high alert. So the more I keep... Yep, there it goes. It's giving its, its call. Got a baby one over there. See, it's giving its call to say, hey, there's danger afoot. Y'all take cover. But for some reason, the one that's over there, the baby, hasn't done a thing. Interesting. But my uh, father-in-law told me something about these prairie dogs. Hi there. Am I scaring you? Hi there. I'm just going about my business. down this hole I scared it enough oh, there's another one down here see there are prairie dogs everywhere here see some of them are going in their holes this might be a good spot to set up right down there but I'm gonna see if there are any other spots by some trees there's one right there oh there it goes it's going for its hole little one too you're tiny go about my business like I don't care Look at you. Wow, I got really close to that prairie dog. It's going into its hole now. Whole bunch more of them over here. Got that one on lookout right there. Plenty of prairie dogs here. See, that one's giving its call. Saying, hey, y'all, take cover. It'll go in its hole soon. Are you going to go in your hole or what? It's watching me. It's watching me. <laughs> uh, prairie dog. Uh, that person down there, they're going to go fishing. Yeah, but the kids are, are back there. They're at the splash park or the splash pad to go and cool down. Me? I figured I'd take the opportunity. Let them go cool down. Sweet Pea, though, she's still terrified of the water. She, she's not afraid of water. She's afraid of being splashed. So what I think it is, oh, that one's going for its hole too. So what I think it is, is she's afraid of water going over her head. So she has that in, innate fear of drowning, I'm guessing. But I apologize for the breeze. I mean, it's, I'm thankful we have that breeze going right now because it was, it was needed. Huge prairie dog hole there. See, when they go for their holes, I don't know how long it takes for them to come back out. See, that's the question I do have. When they go in their holes, how long does it take for them to come back out? Because I gotta look for a spot to set up. Wow, I'm really close to you, huh? You enjoying your food? Oh, oh, that wasn't your hole? That's your hole over there? Okay. <laughs> It does feel nice to uh, get out and walk in a park. 
take my kids out here more often if I can if I can get away with it. That'd be great. But good grouping of them over here, along with some birds. I might be able to set up over there for the 360 video. I figure out how I want to do it. Man, it'd be really, really fun to do prairie dog videos. It's just you got to be patient enough for it, I guess. See, that one's giving the call too. That one's on high alert. There it goes. Yeah, this would be a great spot right here. But I'm trying to avoid having the splash. Is that prairie dog chasing a bird? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. But here, let me uh, move you a little bit. <sighs> but let's check it out. Maybe there. Good grouping of them over there. Uh, I kind of want to do it there because I see plenty of them. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta turn this off because I gotta set up for a different tripod to get it nice and low. So I'm gonna try that. So yeah, this is Terry Quatuor. Here we go with attempting to get some prairie dog footage, 360 degrees. Time to switch tripods. Not making any promises, but I think I got some footage. I think they are down over in this area back here. They're a lot more weary than they are near the path when I'm walking minding my own business. <laughs> Still have to watch every step I take in order to make sure I don't step in a prairie dog hole. These holes are a lot larger than I was expecting. Saw some gorgeous white Shebas a few minutes ago. But might as well finish this up, eh? Felt it's gonna be, I might have to come out here multiple times to try to get the right footage I want so they get used to that camera being out. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do, but them prairie dogs are, they're weary. But that's a given, right? Uh, I'm actually, one thing I am actually uh, quite glad about is the camera did not overheat. I was, I was afraid it was going to overheat. So uh, what that does tell me is that the people who did the initial reviews on the, on the Insta360 X4 is that this camera does really well in heat. It's surprising. I'm so used to everything uh, overheating too easily, if you know what I mean. I got another prairie dog out. Oh, wow! Look at this poppy. Hang on. I'm going to get you nice and close again. Hang on. Can I get you out here? I apologize, but here the wind was too much for the audio, so I wanted to put that there as a disclaimer. I apologize for the really really loud wind but here's a tunnel go into a prairie dog hole how's it look in there <laughs> I scared the absolute bejesus out of that prairie dog <laughs> uh, well getting a little bit closer that flower was gorgeous and i kind of want to know what it looks like inside that hole <laughs> uh, I should apologize for that prairie dog. Ooh, we got more of those flowers right here too. Just nice, gorgeous wildflowers. Look at these, hang on. Stretching out again. And uh, turn around. Look at those. Those are gorgeous. They're so pretty. Oh, let's get you up nice and high. Look at that. Take a look around, you'll see prairie dogs. Kind of. They're absolutely terrified right now. Those prairie dogs are terrified. It, can you blame them? They got some dude with a stick going around going, I have the power! <laughs> well, I'm still hoping I got decent footage out of this whole endeavor. <laughs> but I'm going to make my way around. I think I'm going to check. I'm going to be checking on Sweet Pea. And uh, if she's still in a sour mood about being by that water, I might take her over to the park park and see how she enjoys that. But we'll see. Because people don't appreciate people walking around with cameras. I'm trying to ducks. Who wants to go see ducks? Let's go see ducks. 
Hi, prairie dog. Hang on. I'm going to raise you up. Now turn around. Look at that dirt mound toward the street. I'm going to lower you down. Prairie dog. If you can hear it through the wind, that chirping is the prairie dog alerting its buddies that there is a human. Busted up their headphones down here. More than one of our wildflowers, too. The cool thing about our town is we also get uh, we get wild sunflowers. Well, let's uh, let's go see these ducks if I can get up, if I can get close enough. I might have to go around. Hang on. Because you can get closer to where there's some geese as well. Because these are just... Oh, they're Canadian geese. Okay. But to get a good look of them, like the white geese that are across, I'll have to go around that way. I want to go say hi to the geese. I'm going to go say... There's also a frisbee thing over This is a really nice park. And yes, my hair is grimy from all the yard work I've been doing. I still need that wheelbarrow. <laughs> Donate to my PayPal if you want to see me get a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Say hi to the geese, eh? See if we can piss one off. No, let's not piss off the geese. Ah, sounds like uh, either my niece or my sister just messaged me as well. Heard that in my pocket. Hi, geese. They're all Canadian geese. By this pound. Looks gorgeous over here. Let's go say hi to the geese. Hi, goose. I'm gonna stretch you out, get you a little closer to this goose. Hi, goose. Hi, goose. Goose. Say hi to my stick. Goose. <laughs> Got some ducks over here. Females. All females. They all scaled. Let's go say hi to these other geese. Now look forward. I'm gonna put you down low. You're down low, okay? You got this goose to your left. Hi, goose. Oh, we gotta be, oh wow, yeah, we gotta be careful. We got some babies over here too. Look forward, or kind of. We got some baby geese over here, so we gotta be real careful. They're gonna get super territorial. The baby geese. That one, see that one right there? It's giving the warning, saying, hey, back off. They're all giving the warning right now, saying, stay away from my babies. Hi there. Can I get you a little closer? Come here. Hi. See, they're not too scared. They're highly territorial, but I'm not gonna scare them too much. Got these, uh, these are younger ones. They're not adults, they're quite, they're kind of juvenile. Hi, geese. Yeah, these are young ones. They're being guarded by over there. Honk, honk. All right. Hi, goose. Say hi to the goose. Hi, goose. <laughs> I think that's enough of that. I think we've pestered them enough, eh? Let's start, uh, let's start getting back. Get back over to the splash pad so we can check on the on the kids. Got plenty of prairie dogs and we got geese today. That's I, that's a huge win right there. I thought about putting you guys in the water to see what's under there, but do we need to look at goose feet? <sighs> I'll have to come out here many a times to make sure I get the right kind of footage for you guys, eh? But I'm just really hoping Sweet Pea's having fun. I know Buttercup's having a blast. There are plenty of kids for her to play with out here. So... I'm just gonna head on back. I kinda wanna check out that goose footage too. <laughs> That's the closest I've been to geese without being mad at them too. 
The last time I had a super close encounter with geese was 2006 in high school, trying to go to class. They always attacked because they didn't like the special ed students. <laughs> anyway, I'm close enough to the splash pad where I need to get going. Oh, I see Lily over there. So yeah, don't look. She'll be very, very cross with me. This is Terra Quator on my little wildlife adventure in a park. We'll see y'all around.